Hi, I'm Casey from Retroactive Arcade, and I'm going to talk to you today about arcade controllers slash encoders. I'm going to go over the way they function, uh, a couple of the different setups, and what they're actually used for, and tell you what they actually do. So all in all, I'm going to keep this as short as possible and try to cover as much as I can. Um, so basically, when I said they're controllers slash encoders, um, they're all technically encoders, but these show up as controllers, which are the Zimmos. Uh, the other ones will show up as uh, encoders that work with Windows and they'll work with PlayStation, they'll work with your Raspberry Pi, RetroPi, that kind of thing. Um, this one here is specific to the uh, PS3 and 360, uh, so you can make fight sticks. This is just a one player, uh, one from Aki Shop, which is uh, pretty cool, pretty interesting. Uh, not cheap, but uh, definitely the way to go if you're looking to play with your home base console systems. Uh, back to the Zinmos here. Zinmo is small ones, a one player, medium size or large size one is a two player. These ones take a um, Model B USB. Uh, basically, these will plug and play both with PlayStation. The two player one. Uh, will not allow you to have the home button to go back to the menu or whatever in your PS3 so people don't really like to use those for the two player but uh, for fight sticks and stuff like that uh, this one player Zinmo just works perfect um, these show up in any sort of Raspberry or Retro Pi as well um, Windows recognizes them immediately uh, we haven't had too much luck with uh, Windows 8 or above uh, recognizing these Zinmos right out of the gate uh, but if you want something uh, that's nice and quick and sets you up real nice. Uh, these are definitely the way to go. They're also the cheapest out of all of them. Uh, so they are the most popular for that. Um, when you start getting into uh, different front-end emulation systems like uh, Hyperspin, uh, Mamewall, and GameX, things like that, uh, these encoders don't really uh, mix too well with them, especially if you're going to go into a four-player. So if you try to use two, two players to set up your four-player system, uh, you're going to have a real rough go. I, I strongly suggest not doing that. Uh, just, just for your personal uh, frustration level, <laughs> you're going to start smashing doors or saying bad things to people that you don't really need to do. Uh, if you're going to go that direction, then you're going to want to go into the iPack and stuff. Uh, these four that I have here, this is the old iPack 2 player. Uh, this is the new iPack 2 player and these are also new as well. They're all from Ultimark. Ultimark is a really, really, really good high-end brand that uh, I strongly recommend if you're gonna be doing any sort of uh, emulation or encoder type of arcade control panel setup. Um, the four player is a dream. You just pop it in, set it up, and it's all good to go. And they also have the uh, iPack Ultimate, which is uh, <clears throat> allows for RGB LED control as well right off of the board so it comes with your harness for your for your setup regular setup and then it also comes with another harness setup for your LED wiring and stuff uh, the only downside to it that I could see so far is that the wires are pretty short um, with that being said you're gonna have to end up cutting your ends off and maybe putting uh, uh, extensions on it and stuff as well um, the other iPacks and stuff, the old school ones set up with you uh, being able to plug these wires in. You can get them up to a meter long pre-made with an end on them already for your micro switches and joysticks. Uh, these work like a dream. You can just pop them in. It's it's a little bit time consuming, but you get it down in about half an hour. She's all good to go. Um, if you want to make your own, feel free. You can just buy bulk wire and get these at any kind of hardware store or whatever. You can get these ends for it. Um, the other encoder that I don't have here is a mini pack, which is also made by Ultimark. Uh, it's like a one to two player setup, so it's a little small on the smaller end like this. Uh, it's programmable and you can uh, add a trackball and spinner and that kind of stuff to it. Um, these Zinmos are limited to basically arcade controls for your joysticks and buttons. Uh, you're limited to 12 to 13 buttons per player per side. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, with the J packs or I packs, sorry, <clears throat> they are uh, there. They, you, you get tons of buttons for each side, so you're getting like 15 a side, that kind of thing. Uh, this one here, the ultimate, is good up to like 98 buttons with RGB LEDs, so you can't go wrong. You can have controls for literally anything. 
Um, so talking about this with the 98 buttons, obviously um, you better make note that this is a four player as well. Um, with the 98 buttons, um, what you'll end up having to do with some of these is you'll have to program your machine to have one of your buttons be a shift button. So as soon as you hit that shift button, now you can hit any of the other buttons and they're going to be one of your other, you know, 40 some odd buttons for your for your double up because you're not going to have 98 buttons on your console unless you're seriously crazy, which is awesome. Uh, I'd like to see one. Um, other than that, I want to get into the drawing. So we worked a little bit with uh, Altmark and or just got their permission. Um, we made up some of our own drawings for our new website and uh, all that good stuff since we're going to be carrying some um, Altmark products now. Um, we got a little redundant with them but if you don't know anything about these encoders and you've never really seen them before these uh, drawings are a dream to uh, be perfectly honest with you. Uh, they're a little bit bigger than the original uh, board itself uh, so it's a little bit blown up and you can see how many buttons and how they connect and we tell you which connections to connect to. It also shows you um, everything you need to know about your uh, spinner and trackball. Um, a couple of the old school um, iPacks had a trackball and spinner connection on them uh, but these ones are labeled a little bit better and they all work for um, any of the uh, USB inputs for a spinner and or trackball from Altamark. Uh, that's what the products are designed for is to work with each other in that sense. Uh, the only one that doesn't really do it is the four player uh, <clears throat> four player iPack with the four player iPack Ultimate. Uh, it has setups for both spinner, trackball and all your buttons and so on and so forth. You wouldn't get the um, full extent of your 98 buttons because it's going to take up some of those spaces but uh, uh, man, this this thing is is exactly what it says is ultimate for sure. Uh, other than that, um, I just wanted to give a basic overview of what these are, what the difference is. Uh, they are all products that we carry, so yeah, we hype them up. Uh, there's not too many other ones out there. I might talk about uh, Raspberry Pi, but that's pretty straightforward, so I don't really think I need to do anything video-wise on that. Uh, it is this kind of setup, and it just plug and play. Uh, the Zinmo and stuff plug into that. All these work with a Raspberry Pi. If you ever had any concerns with that, it is literally just plug and play, so you're good to go. Um, feel free to leave any information or ask any info or questions on our website and or our YouTube channel under this video. And uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We encourage you to come check out our site. Come uh, pick our brain. You can feel free to email us or call us, contact us in any way to uh, give you some advice on how to build your uh, own little setup. And uh, yeah, hope to hear from you. Hope this was helpful. Thank you very much and thanks for watching.